My name is Jason Moran at Darling Environmental and Survey. What I'd like to discuss with you in this segment is a common application of 3D laser scanning, which is called building information modeling, otherwise referred to as BIM or BIM. BIM is a process by which you take 3D laser scan data and combine it into a graphical and non-graphical model and create a model from which you can actually measure and chronicle as-built structures. It also encompasses all the building geometry, spatial relationships, and geographic information, as well as quantities and properties of various building components of a structure. Laser scanning is often used in building information modeling simply because it allows the user to get a higher level degree of accuracy, often scanning objects to within one-tenth of an inch. This allows you to reach a basis of design much more accurate than potentially outdated drawings actually chronicle or an individual coming in measuring key pieces. And it allows you to achieve an exceptional level of interface detection. Quite frankly, the scan picks up everything. And when you go back to your desktop to model something, you will see things that you probably did not notice in the field. Here's an example of a building information modeling project that we had undertaken for the San Francisco airport at Terminal 2. What you see in this video is what we call a building information modeling fly-through. Essentially, we're able to animate our model from Revit or Navisworks into something that looks like you're flying through like some type of a roller coaster. What this project was is a 180,000 square foot facility for the San Francisco airport, which was undergoing massive renovations. And we scanned the entire facility in 20 days on site and at over two levels. What you see here is we're going down into the crawl space. And yes, this crawl space is only four feet high. And yes, we did indeed scan the entire structure, both in the crawl space and at the terminal level. As you can see, there's a number of ductwork, pipework, wall structures, and if you look at the green level on the floor, you can actually see the topography of the substructure. This is all very important for engineers that are looking at expanding certain areas because there's going to be an enhancement to various items, for example, conduit for electrical works or a sprinkler system. If you're going to be running or putting new assets into a building, you want to know whether or not you're going to have clearance at certain levels. This allows you to have zero ambiguity whatsoever with regard to the position of those assets in your model. Again, you can see we're now going up to the terminal level, and you can see all of the wall systems. You can see all of the I-beam structures. These are very important from a structural perspective because you want to know whether or not certain key areas can be reduced or eliminated altogether. What, what the 3D laser scanner does is it picks up absolutely everything. Things that you wouldn't even notice are there. And it also picks up smooth lines on various items so you can actually see whether or not it's bowing or it's a straight line. By having a 3D scan, you're able to bring it into a CAD model. And you're able to do things that you couldn't do without being on site. For example, I remember a particular room. I remember what it looks like. I have a photograph. But what's the distance between, say, this doorway and this wall? By having a 3D model of it, you're able to do that remotely, and you don't have to go back on site. And also, there are various items that, for example, we've had a, a couple of clients that, when they looked at our building information modeling, they noticed that there was conduit that they didn't even know was there. And if there's a certain corridor that needs to be constructed, they use building information modeling to streamline clash detection, for example, in an existing building. Now imagine, if you will, an airport wanted to expand a certain terminal to either accommodate a whole new gate or just more retail space so the airport can get more revenues. What would traditionally have to happen is you have to close off that section and bring in contractors and engineers and architects to come and model what's going on, all at the inconvenience of passengers who are disrupted or potentially closing off whole gates and having them consolidated in other areas of a terminal. Using building information modeling will allow someone to scan the assets and mon monitor and inventory all the existing components that are within a certain area and minimizing on-site visits of various engineers and architects to figure out things of the best layout of, say, a fire sprinkler system or a security system or route access to various gates. 
All that can be done remotely, and it can save time as they start constructing something if a certain component or a certain extension is going to clash with an existing asset, they'll know about it beforehand, and that will reduce delays, better for the customers, better for the passengers, and better for the airport. Maryland Surveying is one of the leading companies in the United States for 3D laser scanning. Darling Environmental and Surveying is one of the leading companies in the United States for 3D laser scanning and building information modeling. If you have any interest in implementing a BIM program to your existing assets or would like to do so for an existing project that you have coming up, don't hesitate to give us a call.